guys remember Candle Cove? That show gave me the worst nightmares. It can make people do things. It's not just a TV show. Kids will see it. These kids are hurting someone! Just like we did. Bedtime's 10.30, no matter what he says. And, oh, vegetables. You can't go six weeks on pizza, okay? And you remember he's allergic to shellfish? Not to shellfish, I know. That's Vermont. People don't go for the oysters. I can't believe you're going to Vermont. I couldn't drag you there when you were married. I tried. You did. You're not flipping again, right? No. No, it's just a rental. Six weeks tops. Is there a rule for phone time for Finn? You're kidding, right? After his latest stunt? <laughs> his phone time is zero. The phone stays in New York. I hate you. Finn, you cannot Calm talk down. to I'll your talk mother. To what? Calm down. We don't need to do this. Calm down. Are you kidding me? You are not here. You have no idea what's going on here. You don't. I'm just trying to keep him safe, and I am all alone in this. Up against the internet, random shootings, other people's bad kids, the planet dying, and now this president. What am I supposed to... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go ahead, you tell me what I'm supposed to say to a little boy. I don't know. You're right, I, I, I don't know. Hey, Bucko. It's time to go. What's the matter? The smell. Well, it's just fresh air. Vermont and May. Doesn't get any fresher. It's cow shit. The freshest, though. Dad, don't. No, you're right. Let's suck. That's more fun. There's nothing here. You've been banished. People have been banished, get sent to places where there's nothing. That's how it works. Look, I know this is not your choice, so already we're off on the wrong, you know, but... I talked to your mother about what happened, and I'm not even gonna go into all that, but all I know is that I've never seen her so upset. I just don't want this trip to be a disappointment. I'm already disappointed. Yeah, well, me too. Why? I guess I was hoping I'd catch you on the 12 side of 12 instead of the 13 side of 12. Because the kid I used to know would have loved this place.
Whose house? I bought it. Wait, it's yours? But didn't someone else hire you to, like, fix it up or something? Yeah, that's what I told your mother. You lied to her? That's a little bit. More of a fib, really. Why? Because I'm flipping it. And your mother hates it when I flip houses. She thinks it's gambling. Flipping it, like, over? No. It means you buy it for cheap, put a little money in it so it looks nicer, worth more. Then you try to sell it again for a profit. What if it doesn't flip over and you can't sell it? It'll flip. I'm gonna cut my hand off. That's exactly what your mother said. Screw her, what does she know? Hey! Shit. Yeah. What? Oh, right, right, the wiring. So what? Oh, great, that's great. So, all right. Yeah, I'll leave the bulkhead open. The fuse box is right there. Okay. Great. Well, do your thing. All right, thanks. Bye. Going to take her side now? I'm not taking anyone's side. But your mother does have some valid points, you have to admit. She broke into my computer. It came with rules, and you knew that. Dad, imagine the only thing between you and pretty much every answer to every question you have, right, is a door. Not supposed to open, but with the real crappy lock on it. Wouldn't you break the crappy lock and at least take a peek? How much of a peek did you take? Tell me people got chopped up here. Uh, no, I'm sorry to disappoint. That's something they'd have to disclose. What's disclosed? That means they'd have to tell me if somebody got chopped here and they didn't tell me anything. smells nasty in here. I'd say when we open the floor on this thing, we're gonna get a little present. What kind of present? A furry dead present. Oven's not fixed. Yeah. Let's not fix it. Then you won't try to cook. Oh, nice burn. Yeah, nice burn like every food. No, you, you lost it. Don't push it. Never double down on a good burn. Right. Microwave, number for the pizza guy. All we need. All we need. Well, rain is starting to come through this guy and rot the wood. Gonna have to switch those out. Probably was once. We should turn this into something cool, like a movie theater. Who needs horses? Oh, your mom had horses growing up. Really? Yeah. I never much cared for them, but she loved the damn things. Probably still does. Right. She had those little pictures. Yeah, that she painted on the walls. Little animals. What? I remember things. Been a while, but I do. Did you, 
this my stuff? Yeah. I had some things sent up from storage. I wanted you to feel at home, I guess. What? Nothing. No, you don't feel at home. It's stupid and you hate it. Look at you, you totally hate yeah, it. Yeah, it's just... a little too young. I asked your mom what she thought you'd like. She doesn't know everything. Can't wait to tell her that. You still like those things? Sure. I can't do them. Give me a headache. It's kind of like, you have to look at it like you're looking at something far away, even though it's up close. I can't do it. What's the picture of? I'm not telling. I'll get you some more grown-up decorations soon. Maybe a gun closet and some booby posters. Whoa, easy. Well, here's another wrong we have to make, right? We're the house doctors, you and me. Get in there where the bad parts are and make them good. Turn this into some place someone would want to live. These are the guts. Now she's got really bad guts. Bad pipes, bad wires. And this, this is the heart. Now she's got a bad heart too. It's barely pumping. Even though I can't find a single thing wrong with it. Which is bad news for us because up here in May it's cold as balls and we do not. What's that? Wait, wait. Shh. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ, who the hell are you? Wait, 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 wait. Get the electrician. You said they're coming through the bulkhead, and I just, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I legit died for a second. <laughs> don't even think about it. Why? You don't even inhale. Well, I'm not the best father, but I'm not trying to win a prize about it. Better settle for second hand, Chief. So, uh... The mess in there. You got broken fuses, outdated everything. Awesome. Plus, you got a main line clipped on the outside, but uh, I already taken care of that. Wait, clipped? Like someone cut it? Clipped? Like on purpose? Looks like. Kids, maybe, or uh, I don't know, but uh, like I said, taken care of. Thanks. Oh, this is Finn, by the way. Lewis. Hi. I'm also your neighbor. Uh, closest thing you got out here anyway, about a quarter mile down South Street. It's a bit far to run for a stick of butter, but uh, anything you ever need, just... Something wrong? No. You mind if we move up to the porch? It's getting kind of chilly. I prefer it here, actually. You don't much like this place. I, I don't like it, though. No. Why not? Don't worry. 
We're not moving in. We're flipping it over. <laughs> I don't know what they told you already. Just that nobody got chopped up. Right. Boring. So they, they didn't tell you about her? I guess they wouldn't have to. About what? Lady lived here when I was a kid. Um, she died? Yes. Let's see if you're saying that at one o'clock in the morning. She was the kind of lady that uh, kids would call a witch or whatever. But that's normal. That's just the usual small town stuff, right? Uh, cute or whatever. But this was not cute. What'd she do? Ah, uh, go on. I guess it was a <clears throat> good house once, back before I was born. But for me, it was always her house. She did have a family back then, husband and son, but they died on the farm. And badly. Got caught up in the hay baler. Nasty stuff. Rumor was that she'd done it herself. Why would she do that? Well, most people, I think, generally try and do good, but this woman was the other way. But I'll tell you this, she liked that people were scared. She liked being in your head. What really scared me was seeing how scared my mom was. Now that I got a kid of my own, I get it. She knew something that bad was that close, and she couldn't keep me safe. She used to sit right up there in the window in the front, just watching. One summer, we all got to noticing that uh, she never seemed to leave that spot. Day and night. So finally, someone caught wise and called it in, and sure enough, she'd been dead up there three full weeks. I think they said it was a heart failure. What was her name? What? Her name. You never said it. Huh. I guess I don't much like saying it. Her name was Lydia. What are those? Something wrong? Yep. Got a hole in my heart. Well, obviously. <laughs> no, really. It's a tiny one. A lot of people have them. Since when have you had it? Since forever. But I only found out about it last year when I was in California. Is it bad? Sounds bad. Could you die? There's a better chance of us being hit by an asteroid while we sleep. Is it cold in your room? I have balls. Okay, there's blankets next to... Where'd you hear that? Did you hear me say that? Yes. What? Well, okay, there's some extra blankets next to your bed. We'll get on that furnace tomorrow. I'm next door if you need me. I'm fine. I'll leave my door open. I'm fine.
That is a big fat old dead crow. <laughs> there you go, no rush. Just see the line in your head and don't think too hard. There you go. Nice. Nice. Who's there? What's with the lamp? Oh, nothing. I heard you talking to someone. Just to myself. You know, I'm, I'm a little, uh... Deb. What is it? Do you think there's something wrong with the house? Maybe. Do you? I thought I saw someone in the mirror. What kind of someone? I think a lady. Which mirror? No, I'm sure it was just... What did she look like? I don't know. It was too fast. It was like a magic guy. A what? You know, the picture in my room. The one with the crazy patterns. It's kind of like that. It was like... You only see it for a second. And then... You lose it. think that it's her? Who? Lydia. Why are you whispering? I don't know. Have you seen something too? No. That's the spot. Do you think it's the same chair she died in? No, of course not. You want to leave? No. Well, maybe we should, though. I'm not scared. You want to sleep in my room? You don't have to be brave. I said I'm not scared. I know. But I'll leave my door open. Dad. Just in case.
Time to get up, bucko. Not yet. I had this dream. It's still coming back to me. I, I was asking someone if we could stay here. Stay? I asked her. Who was it? Wait. Like with mom too? Oh God, I remember now. Lydia. It was Lydia. And then, then she showed me what would happen to you. You just... Dad? Finn, will you give me a hand with this? Finn. What? I'm gonna pick this up and carry it back to the house, okay? Okay. One, two, three, up! You seem quiet. Is everything okay? I'm fine. Hey, there's some mud up ahead. All right, we'll go around it. You know, I've been meaning to... If you want to talk about anything you saw when you took your little, you know, peek at the World Wide Web... Please. No, I'm fine. We don't need to talk about this right now. Well, I'm just saying, maybe there might be some things I could set the record straight on, because there's a lot of stuff out there that could give you the... <laughs> right. Okay, I got it. Thank you. I thought you said you walked around this. Yeah, I tried, but there's just way too okay, much. Okay, so no, 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 this is bad. Back up. Finn, wait. Uh... My foot's stuck. All right, hold on. <laughs> Where's your, you got your boot? So did you look at that kind of stuff? What kind of stuff? Like, on the internet? Thought you didn't want to talk about that. Just, never mind. No, no, it's just, it's, look, it's perfectly normal to want to look at girls or boys no, or whatever. No, oh my god, Dad, not that kind of stuff. I just mean like scarier stuff. Wait, did you see something violent? Did you see someone get killed? Where did you see that? The news, I think. It was just this guy, and he was getting his head chopped off, and he was screaming, or at least trying to. God damn it. God damn it. Jesus. Look, Finn. The world's kind of a sick place, I guess. Jesus. Here, help me with this thing. Did you ask your mom about her? Well, I think so. She was just really mad and it's really late. Was supposed to be sleeping, but I snuck out only because she was crying 
just she was on the phone with someone crying. And I don't know who it was, but she said she was scared that I knew that the world would gone all bad and that it would end and die. Well, your mom, I, I guess that's what she thinks. She needs to get out of the city. You both do. Do you think that the world will... No. Would you tell me if you did? No. Probably not. You lie? Yeah. So, I'm not allowed to lie, but you are? Yep. Hey, Mom. All the time she lies. My God. Do you feel bad about it? Yeah. You know, all parents do it. Good ones, crappy ones. We tell you everything's okay when it's not okay. We tell you we're strong when we're not strong. We tell you there's no spinach in it when there's spinach in it. I knew it. Anything. So you don't know. Don't know what? That you aren't safe. Not really. More! 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 What else did you lie about, you lying liar? Okay, so... Remember that automatic dog feeder thing you made for the science fair all those years ago? And I said it was great and you were so clever. Yeah. Well, that thing was terrible. It never worked. The dog hated it. So, even though you are pretty much the cleverest, at that time you were very unclever. But we pretended. I mean, we lied. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Straight down. Steady. And perfect. You mad? From now on, no bullshit between us, okay? No bullshit. Are you really gonna sell the house? Why would you... Do you... No, see, that's bullshit. No, no, that's, that's stalling. Stalling's different. Stalling to think of the right bullshit. Are you really gonna sell it? I hope not to. That's the best I can. How did you even know? I don't know, it's just everything. Like, my room, and all this stuff, and all the time it was... Did someone come in? That sounded like it came from the basement. You okay? Let's go see. You should go outside and wait. Let's go see. What? Do you feel that? The breeze? Well, it's hot air. So? That means the heat's on.
guess it's a good thing. But how to go on? You know what? We skipped lunch. What do you say we get out of here? Go get some fresh air, maybe go to the pizza instead of inviting the pizza here for a change? Go wash up and grab your rake. Hold on a second. What? Excuse me? Excuse me, miss? I can see you. Go outside. Go downstairs, Finn. Now. Hello? Isn't your name? Lydia. I don't think...
right, I'm doing this. What? No! Dad, don't! Oh, hey there, Beth. I was just thinking about you two. Uh, so listen, I'm gonna owe you the longer version of this sometime real soon, but something's happened. Jesus. Is he hurt? Just listen. I'm putting Finn on a bus in the morning to you, back to New York. Oh, no, Dad, please. He'll be at Port Authority by 3.30. Look, I'm so, this is not the way I wanted this to happen, but conditions just aren't safe in the house, and I, I, I don't know how to make them safe. I, I, I just, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. What else am I going to say? Thank you. I'll text you details in the morning once he's on the road. Okay, bye. Uh, bye. Bye. Come on, don't look at me like that. What do you expect me to do? What if something happened? How would I... What, do you want to go back in there? No. I don't know. Well, so then what? We can't both leave as much as I'd love that, but buckle. I'm all in. I bet the house, literally. And Look, I know you don't understand. Well, let's stuff. both stay then. Absolutely not. It could be the best house. You know that mom would love it. That's what I thought when I first saw Finn. No. So what? Just gonna sell it to someone? Just lie? Give it to some poor family? I don't know. Please. You shouldn't go in alone. It's worse if you go in alone. Please, Dad. I won't sleep in there. I'll work during the day, and I'll crash in a motel. I'll be fine. I know how to survive living for a couple of weeks with someone who doesn't want me there, believe me. Didn't you hear her? Who? Lydia. She doesn't want you out. She wants you to stay. Well, then we'll get along fine, her and me. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll show you my room. You and I got to get on the level with a few things. Well, have, have we not been on the level? Nope. Not really. You know, that first day I, I come over, Told you about the wires been clipped and the power had gone dead. It was me who cut him. Wait, you? Why? I cut him four or five years back. Uh, something didn't seem right, and I seen her looking out. So you? Off and on through the years, yeah. Didn't more than sort of spook me at first, but then I noticed for a few days after I'd seen her, she'd seen me, that things weren't right in, in, with my head, and um, worst of it was the sleepwalking. Sleepwalking? I'd wake up in the road between our houses, just standing there, and it seemed like every time I'd be like a step closer, like she was just trying to reel me in or something, you know? And then uh, <clears throat> this one time there was this ice storm, knocked the grid down for a week. I'm sure she was still in there, but I didn't see her. And I slept. Stopped taking my walks. 
I got to thinking, maybe she liked the power on. And so I, I cut it. And then I had you repair it. Cursing myself the whole time. But I knew it would get done with me or without me, so I figured I might as well be the one. At least I could warn you. But I didn't, because I'm chicken shit. And I, I don't know, I guess I just... Hoping it all been in my drunken goddamn skull, you know? Is that what you think now? Today I woke up, 3.30 in the goddamn morning, at the head of your driveway. You can't keep doing what you're doing over there. I have to. What, for money? It's all she ever dreamed of. It's a perfect country home. It's old and eccentric, and full of history and strange noises, room for horses. You're not flipping it. I was never flipping it. I was keeping it, God damn it. To surprise her, to convince her, to, I don't know, anything to get her. She love you? If not, well then. That's something you can't flip. Trust me. At least I'd have done something good for them. You've seen the house now. You know it's Lydia's house, not yours. And it's a bad house. You said yourself, it was a good house once. I have to think it can be a good house again. No. Yeah. I am telling you. Don't. She can scare the hell out of me if she wants to. But what is she going to do to me, huh? We're adults. We know in the real world, nobody fills in a death certificate, cause of death, haunted house. Just know that whatever you fix in that goddamn house, all you're really doing is making her stronger. I love you.
Are you mad? Yes. You can't just... When did you get off the bus? Right there. Just when you left. And then you... Walked. Jesus, Finn. Are you gonna help then? I am hoping. You are. I'm the lookout. Look at this, huh? Teamwork. I love your pout. I think it's funny. Maybe if you let me. You're a New Yorker again by tomorrow afternoon. No debate. Don't even think about it. You and I are not going to strap on proton packs and try to save the whole guy. Shut up. Hey, watch it. you're thinking. No, you really don't. I'm an asshole. You're wrong. I am. Yes. You're my favorite person. Even if maybe I don't admit it all the time, it's just, you know. And I always want to be mad because I guess mom always is. Really, you're my favorite person. And my favorite person doesn't like me enough to just stick around, you know? Finn, you and your mother mean more to Don't me. Don't say that! No bullshit, remember? If that were true, then why would you keep leaving? Because I'm a coward. It's just, oh, Jesus, Finn. You, it's all so scary. You have no idea. Feeling like I have this completely perfect thing, because that's how I feel about you. It's perfect. And why in the hell would anyone give me a perfect goddamn thing when they should know that all I've got are ways to wreck it? And so I panic and I, I can't keep still. As horrible as it feels to miss you guys, it also feels like being missed is better than being there and being hated. I wouldn't, Dad. I love you. I love you too, Finn. Oh, Jesus. It's your mother. No! Don't answer it! Bev? Hi. I thought I'd check in. Um, I don't know what Finn's already told you. Not much. He's been pretty quiet since he got back, actually. Since... what? Finn. He's been pretty quiet since he got back today. Back where? Back home. You... Put him on a bus. What am I not understanding? You're saying. Are you okay? I picked him up at Port Authority just like you asked. He's eating mac and cheese right now, about 10 feet away. Put him on. Okay. One sec. Dad? Oh, hey, Bucko. Are you okay? Yeah, no. No worries, all's good. I'm, I'm glad you got home safe. You don't sound okay. No worries. I'll check in on you tomorrow. Okay. I love you. Talk tomorrow.
Please, is your dad here? Jesus, Lewis. I'm real sorry to see you like this. Lewis, I, I, I don't even know where to begin. You should tie one on with me, eh? Lewis, I don't need a beer, I need help. I need your, your, your phone or maybe your truck. I can't give you any of those things, I, I, I can't help you at all. Why not? Because in order for me to help you, you would have had to have left. Left what? Your house. You never did. I never left. You never left. Your house! Something in your voice. What's I going on? Heavily, please. What? Please just, just stop it. Please don't make me look at her. What the hell is going on? Look at me. Fuck you. Would you like to leave? It's impossible. I get it. I know. You can. No obstacles, no trick, I promise. I don't believe you. It's true. You can walk right back out into the world. Abandon the job. Beg for another loan. Your family stays in their hell hole. You leave. You leave again. Or I could stay. Yes. Stay like you stayed. Yes. And be with you. No. Where would you go?
how you finally called back. Sorry, uh, work's been hard. I kind of disappear in it. Finn won't stop asking about you. He's been having bad dreams. Are you okay? Fine. I saw the house, Simon. Finn had photos on his phone, and he has to let me into his phone now. We made a deal, so I saw it. And? And I knew exactly what you're up to. And? And it was a real nice thought, Simon. I love that you thought it. Okay. Look, I actually I'm sure better. it's late. But Oh, is is Finn up? Can I He's asleep. It's after eleven. Oh, is it? Well, you you want me to wake him? Well, if you Actually, you know what? He's been through a lot. I, I, I should probably just let him sleep. That's the best thing. I think so. Tell him I love him. I'll tell him. Good night, Simon. Good night, Bev. Love you. Okay. This picture I showed him. Your painting, I know. I hate that painting. That's really weird. I was just looking at that a few weeks ago after the funeral. For some reason, I went looking for it. It's ours now, right? Yeah, well, it's ours for the moment. But... We'll sell it soon, don't worry. No one expects us to live in a house where that would just feel. I'm scared to go in. Yeah, me too, a little. Hey, why don't you wait in here then? Okay? I'll go gather some stuff and we can go back to no. the hotel. I'm coming in.
keep wondering if you never even met that doctor. Never knew to worry. He said there was a better chance of being hit by an asteroid. Yeah. Well. They have to hit somewhere, don't they? I guess so. And it's amazing. It doesn't feel bad in here like I thought it would. No, it doesn't. I like how it feels. Do you miss the city? Not one time. And where would you go? I'll leave my door open. Night, Mom. Night. Night, Dad. <laughs> 